All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of our R1 build. This is our super stock R1 race bike that we're building. And today we are gonna upgrade the top triple tree mount, do a key delete, and put a little bit of bling on this uh, nut here. Stay tuned. Yeah. We are gonna be installing the all new top triple yoke mount from Artitech. So this is a CNC triple clamp, comes with titanium hardware, um, has this really awesome reservoir mount as well. But look at this color. So this is their new like anodized bronze one that they came out with. And uh, I just wanna give a huge shout out to Artitech. Um, if you don't know about the company, they've been around for quite a few years. Unfortunately, they get swept back, you know, due to major companies like Graves, Attack, other good companies out there. Um, but I just want to tell you real quick, the reason that we went with Artitech is because although the Graves and Attack parts are nice, even Bonamici, their top triple clamp mount, uh, they're really nice parts. Um, unfortunately, I would have went with Graves or attack if we were going a full adjustable offset and super bike spec. But because we're using this in super stock, we have to keep the same offset. Um, we can't adjust any of the steering angles, things like that. And in my opinion, the Artitech, just the, the, the top triple yoke, this is the best looking one out there. And it definitely looks sexy with the new color. As you can see, all titanium pro bolt hardware, that custom reservoir bracket, just a super nice piece of kit. You know, like I said, huge shout out to Artitech for sponsoring this episode. And also I want to give a shout out to uh, Sport Bike Track Gear. They do a lot for us racers here in the United States. So I got to give back to our local vendors as well. So, you know, shout out to Brian, shout out to Eric Wood at Woodcraft, making some of the best parts in the business and definitely uh, hooking us up in the meantime. So we're doing a keyless delete. So we're getting rid of all that. Not so much for weight, but just so everything's a lot cleaner. And if you get to a race weekend and you forget your key, you're not screwed. So let's go ahead and disassemble. All right, now if you're doing this mod to your bike or if you're just doing the keyless delete, um, you're basically just gonna follow down from your ignition all the way through here and you'll come to these two plugs here, the one white, one yellow. It's a like single cable coming down, but two different connectors. You're gonna actually go ahead and unplug those two connectors and that's what the keyless uh, delete, or excuse me, that's what the key delete will actually plug into and then extend those wires. So let's go ahead and uh, remove those plugs, and get this off of there. All right, so then also what you're gonna do is you're gonna follow the plug from your right hand switch gear all the way down. Um, if you have a R1, you got one, two, three, four on the left hand side of these like white yellowish connectors, it's the second one. Um, but just follow it around on your bike just to make sure. And then we have everything plugged in as need be. So now where you would turn the key and the dash would turn on now, should be able to just click it to run and dash turns on like normal. So now we can go ahead and put the new Artitech triple mount on and we're, and we're gonna top it off with this beautiful CNC Volter Moto steering head nut. All right, guys, got everything torqued down. That is a wrap. The new triple top yoke is on, brand new nut. And like I said, our keyless uh, ignition, Woodcraft Key Delete, everything installed. I hope this taught you something and I hope you guys enjoyed the content. We definitely love uh, building these bikes and this new R1 is just really gonna be a sick build once it's done. Um, if you missed any of the videos already, we've already done the DB holders rear, the 2020, 2021 um, fairing stay conversion because this will have the 2021 bodywork on it. Um, in last video, we did the Bitubo gas steering stabilizer. So I definitely hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy seeing stuff like this and you wanna see how this turns out and the rest of the build, what we have in store, please consider subscribing. Give it a thumbs up on the way out. Definitely links in the description of all the parts we use here on the channel. This channel's only getting faster.